for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to our series of videos on creating the CSS navigation. And in this video, we're going to see how to create a vertical CSS navigation menu. And you can see the example here. All right, I've got four different menu items. And you'll see this is just a regular list inside of a div that has the tag navigation on it. I'm going to need that later, so I'm actually going to copy it. And you can see the different colors here. I didn't choose the colors because I like them. I chose the colors because they stand out. Um, but you can see the normal blue background with the green line in between. And when I hover over, you can see that um, we have a red highlight. And when I go into the styles, you can see here's the style sheet that creates that effect. So let's go ahead. I'm going to delete these styles so we can start over. And I'm going to begin with uh, formatting the unordered list. I mean, actually, I'm going to click over here in Live View, and you can see this goes back to being just a regular unordered list. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a div for the UL tag, and, or div style for the navigation div. And this is going to apply to the UL style. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the margin and the padding off. So I'm going to go ahead and do margin 0px and padding 0px. So I cut those two items off. And I'm actually going to close my style here and you can see the result there. Now, most browsers, if you take the margin or the padding off, or if you just change the display property to inline, will remove the bullets automatically for you. But if you wanted to, you could use the list style type item. And just to be sure, you can put that property in as none. And then I'm also going to go ahead and select the font as being Arial for these items. And that's all that I'm going to do at the UL level. And you can see the changes that were made there, not many. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another style specific to the navigation div. So this is an ID style, but this is going to apply to the A tags, to the anchor tags. So here's where I'm going to format the list. And the first thing I have to do is make sure that um, all browsers display this uh, as a block. So I'll set that property there. And then I'm going to set the size of the buttons which in this case, I'm going to want some padding here. And I'm going to say I want five pixels of padding all the way around that button. And I'm going to say I want the width of the button to be 150 pixels. Go ahead and close that off and save it. And you will see that my buttons have sort of expanded out there. But I can't see the full button because I don't have the background color, which is going to be the next property that we're going to go ahead and set, background color. And again, I type out the full six digits, but if you do the three digits, that'll work exactly the same. 0000FF is a medium blue. And when I click over here, you'll see the effect there. Now, I can no longer see my links because of my background color. So I'm going to go ahead and set the color property to white. And then again, this is a great feature in this version of Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver CS5. It's the live view panel. And you can see as you make changes over here in your code, just by clicking over here in the panel, you'll see a preview in a browser, which is different from design view. So there we go. So now I can see my text. I also want to take the underline off. So I'm going to go ahead and do text decoration none. And there I have my buttons. Now there's no rollover effect yet, and I also didn't put the borders in. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do border bottom. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a two pixel green. So I'll go ahead and do 00FF00 solid border. Now you'll see I've got that dividing line. And you could make this any color you wanted. For instance, let's say you wanted a thin gray line to divide your buttons. I can do um, three E's and maybe make this one pixel. And there you'll see the difference there. Now I need to create a style for when I roll over. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, this is going to apply specifically to the navigation div. So I go ahead and open my style up with my div decoration. And this is going to apply anytime I have the hover effect. So I'm going to use the pseudo class hover. And I'm just simply going to change the background color from that blue to a red. And I'll save it. And now I get that hover effect. So in relatively few lines of CSS code, we don't actually need that um, line of code anymore. You can see it doesn't affect it at all. And we've worked with 3, 6, 10, 11 lines of code in three different styles to create the CSS menu. You'll also notice on the site there's a companion video to this one that will show you how to make a horizontal navigation bar um, that would go along with the styling for this vertical navigation bar. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.